Hi guys, welcome to Java Express channel. So we are going to start Java interview questions. The first question in Core Java come to the picture. The first question is difference between class versus object. So today I'm going to explain what is a class, what is a object, and then what is the difference between class versus object. Okay, let me take a notepad file. Here, let me explain some couple of points, then we'll jump into the program. So as I said, first one is the class, right? And second one is the object, okay? In Core Java, if you want to write anything, okay, you need to create a class. Now, basically, what is the point I can say? Class is a, I can say class is a template. We can say template or container. Inside this class, you can perform or I can, you, uh, you can declare what are the things means you can declare the variables. Okay. You can declare the methods or static blocks. Okay. Non-static blocks and constructors. Constructors. These are all the things or you can create objects also. You can create objects also. So class is a container. We can create objects in a Java program. That is the first point, guys. So what is the syntax? Basically, if you want to define, basically, if you want to define a class, okay, what is the syntax you need to follow? Now, this is the syntax class, and you need to provide the class name. Either you can use as a class name as a bike or you can make it as a student or we can take a department or employee anything we can say as a class can kind of a logical entity let me take example as a bike bike is my class just to have a look this is the open bracket and closed bracket this is the syntax for the class so we can say that okay we can create basically we can create we can create a class using class keyword i can say that class keyword this is the another point where class is a template or container which can okay you can declare variables methods static blocks non static blocks constructor and you can create the objects also this is the first point guys okay and this is your second point okay we can create a class using class keyword this is the second point now okay now third point now basically class is a logical entity logical entity means bike now you have a different types of, of, of bikes you have like activa hero honda suzuki these are all kind of a different types of objects so that's why class is a logical entity it will not physically not exist but object is a physical entity that means bike when i say which type of bike so that's why class is a logical entity and and next point whenever you are defining a class there is no memory when when a class is created when class is created there is no memory is allocated that means inside your java virtual machine whenever you are creating the class there is no memory will allocate for the class this is very very important point you need to remember this one whenever you are creating a class no memory is allocated now if you take the example now you can take as an example as i already given assume that this is a bike now this is the class uh, around four points I explain. First one, second, we can create a class using class keyword. Class is a logical entity, okay? And when class is created, no memory is allocated. Hope you are clear what is a class, okay? In the same way, whenever, um, I will take small example, how to defend, I will explain also, don't worry, okay? Now, let me discuss, discuss about the object. Now, have a look here. In simple terms, the question will be a difference between class versus object. Now, the first point we can say as a object. Object is a instance of class. Nothing but your bike is a 
class now you can create a object that means i can say that your objects can be a uh, uh, activa activa is one object and suzuki is one object and a hero honda is one object that is the meaning of of activa is instance of a class that is the meaning of object now how to create a object in java programming okay you, we can okay we can create we can create object using new keyword it's very very important this new keyword uh, i can say you can use for creating the object just i'm taking an example if you take bike bike is a class if you want to refer i can take as a activa equals to new here this is the syntax and this is the bike now in core java if you want to say in the java programming now this is nothing but object creation this is the syntax by using the new keyword whenever you are defining the object okay you need to follow this is your class name here this is a class name and to create a object you should use as a new keyword here if you if you need a different object then how you can create here you can create any number of objects not only single object here you can take as a suzuki you can take suppose you need a some ktm bike here different types of objects this is the meaning we can create object using the new keyword whenever you are performing with the help of the new keyword okay now memory will allocate this is our third point guys i can say objects are allocated objects are allocated memory space when whenever we created objects are allocated memory space whenever we created the objects that is the meaning okay now now if you see you can uh, drive the vehicle i mean say you can drive your bicycle right those bikes are physically exist i can say another difference is object is a physical entity so these are the differences between class versus object hope everyone is clear what is a class and what is a object and these are the four differences differences between class versus object now i am going to explain one small ex same example how to run this application uh, in your windows operating system okay now what i can do take as a file click on new otherwise what you can do in your system use windows r here type notepad file here now i am creating a class everyone knows how to define a class class now let me take the bike now here curly bracket open curly bracket close as part of the initial stage i am writing a main method now without main method you cannot test your application now just this is a definition there is no memory memory will not allocate for this class now i am writing some kind of a main method in c programming you have a main method in the same way in java also we have a main method have a look here public static void main as part of the initial okay you no need to worry about whatever i am writing the statements blindly you can write later on time each and everything i will be explain later on time okay now if whenever if you want to create a object you need the main method inside this main method you need to create your object now for this object i want to create now see here bike now here you can use any name let like if you take as a b1 you can take equals to new bike object just i am creating this is one object now class is a logical entity and a bike is your physical entity now if you want to create a another object here you can take as a activa now this is a way syntax for creating your object now here if you run this application as of now i am not printing anything here in c language you are using print ln statement right or print f statement but in the java language whenever if you want to print you need to use as a 
system dot out dot print ln method here you can print b1 object now what it will be print later on time we can discuss now see here copy and here i am taking equal to activa see here class name is your bike you are creating two objects and you are printing with the help of print ln method system dot out dot print ln now you created the class now i want to run this application if you want to run this application click on file and save here now here uh, in the desktop you can create one folder let me create a new folder here what i can do let me make it as a interview questions i am created one folder underscore java just i created one folder now again click here here you need to save this file uh, you want to save with any name means the best practices means your class name now you can use as a your class name is bike bike dot java that's it now it's done click on save now your application is run successfully that means just you this is nothing but a source code now how to run this application now what you can do click on desktop click on interview questions now see this is your java file now i want to run this particular java file how to run click on cmd here in the task bar in the top are you able to see this pc desktop interview questions just click here type cmd okay if you want to run your java file first you need to check whether the java version is available or not the syntax is java hyphen version now by using this tag java version okay in my local system right now 1.8 is available now you can able to execute now how to execute means now you need to compile this particular class how to compile java c and your class name bike okay dot java this is nothing but compilation okay let me increase the font size give me one minute guys uh, there is a kind of properties here let me choose it at 20 okay now it will be visible see this is called compilation okay now java c now it will be compiled over java file if any issue if any issue is available it will be give a error for you if you see now compilation is successful now if you see here inside your folder one dot class file is generated inside this dot class file you will have the byte code if you want to run your byte code just you need to use java command your class name that's it. there is no extension here after generating your dot class file you need to run java bike now enter now what will just let me make it enter now see now you got an exception uh, a jni error has occurred okay i think there is some issue in my system i am not able to run but make sure whenever you are running java space bike you will get the output okay i can say this b1 object identity it will be print in the console hope you can practice this example in your system and i will come up with another new question okay in the next session thank you guys